Skywagon University. And uh, this car was in the K-Max video in the background and some people said, hey, what's the story with that car, blah, blah, blah. So I thought we'd do a quick video on uh, what it is and why I've got it. So here it is in its Walton Mountain-esque barn, barn at my house. <clears throat> I use it to commute to the airport, it's two or three miles. It's a 1930 Model A Ford. And I've always wanted one, I don't know why, they're just like really old but really practical and not that expensive to buy. So um, let's have a quick look around it and see what's uh, going on. So under the hood. This goes up like that. This comes out like that. Sits on there. Here's the engine. It's um, 201 cubic inches or 3.3 no, litres. 3.3 cubic, uh, 3,300 cubic centimeters for the Europeans, anybody interested? These levers here are on the steering wheel. This one is the advance and retard of the timing on the distributor. And the other one is the throttle. And it goes right around to the other side to the carburetor. So you've got cruise control and timing. So you start it retarded and then you run it advanced, which you have to, we'll do that inside, I'll show you in a bit. So that's the engine. Very simple, big, four cylinder, and a massive flywheel on it. So it has huge inertia. So if you're doing, there's only three gears. So if you miss a gear or you're in the wrong gear, there's a lot of inertia. It doesn't just die, it keeps spinning. So it's actually way more practical and drivable than that old Austin 7 that I had on the earlier video with the Benny Hill music. So let's look in it. So here we are inside. When I bought this, I could not get it running. I don't know why. It, I thought key, you know, what else can there be? Choke. And it would idle and cough and miss. So I went on YouTube and I found out how to start them. And I am now on YouTube showing you how to start them because it's interesting. So here are the two levers we just saw. Throttle, fast, slow. Retarded ignition, advanced ignition, headlights. So to start it, you turn on the key. It just pops out. Neutral. Break off if we're not going on a hill. And the starter button is down there on the floor by my toe. If it was cold, I would pull out the choke and this is mixture. So there's the choke and there's mixture. You can adjust the mixture by turning the end of this. But it's, it's set where it is and I've already run it so it's warm. But to start it, on, neutral, pull that out, hit the starter. The moment it starts, let go. Thought it hadn't started, huh? That's it running there. Then, hand throttle up the idle to wherever you want it. And I always bring the ignition down to just kind of in the middle, roughly. Now it's ready to go. So should we take it for a little drive? Make sure the doors are shut. Reverse, up, so that's like, there's four positions. Reverse, one, two, three. Very conventional. No synchro mesh on the gears. But it drives amazingly um, normally. Oh, and it's got air conditioning too. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, let's put on the AC. Open this, open this. Open the window. That's the fuel gate, that's the fuel tank right there. That's the gas cap right there on the front. That is the fuel gauge. And it is, actually shows you the physical level of fuel as a liquid behind the glass. It's not like it's a float somewhere. The fuel will be in view right here, and there's a seal behind that. So uh, it's very direct. Should we take her out on the road?
and the temperature gauge is up there on the front. It actually has got a mercury in it, you know, a little, you know, a little gauge that comes up and you can see it from here and it's sticking right into the tank. No indicators, no seat belts. First, second, third. Easy enough going up the gears like that, but going back down them is no synchromesh. You've got to really time it. So I'll have to do the dreaded um, third to second shift at some point and see if I can do it without grinding them. It does about 40, 45 maybe. So I never go on the freeway and it'll be hit from behind at 60 miles an hour by somebody in a Camry. It's got a great horn too. This And the big flywheel keeps it spinning. So even on a hill, it gets lugged down a bit, but the inertia keeps it spinning. So it doesn't, you don't have to shift. Now okay, we'll turn around here. Cable brakes. When adjusted, the cable brakes are actually very good. It's all clear. Clip take off. One, two. And the air comes underneath the window, goes under the dash, and comes out here. So there's a vent. It's like it's behind the dash. Ingenious. made it. So neutral, brake, and to turn it off you just press the key in. And then I always retard it, leave the throttle where it is, everything off.